friends i am rakesh i am going to teach you today on take screenshot and save it with a specific name and we'll also see an example how do you save them with a dynamic name let's say you have saved a file with a name stating image 1 and when you rerun it again it is going to replace that so you do not want that in specific projects where you want or every time it runs there has to be a different name assigned to it automatically so how do you do that and next one is the most interesting and very critical one is how do you take a screenshot of a specific region this is because if you simply use take screenshot activity uh, it it does take most of the applications it does take the entire screen it doesn't have the option to specify the ui element um uh, of particular area or the error code and you cannot capture that so how do you take a specific region you know whatever you want how do you take the specific region is something we are going to learn so welcome to expo hub guys i do upload videos almost daily as a regular updates you will find please do subscribe to the channel in case you have not and hit on the like button and also another thing that i do is in case you have any questions you can definitely comment in the comment box and i would try to create a video on that one too thank you very much so let's get started so let me go ahead and delete this activity which i had already created and also i think okay now the very first thing that i'm going to do is i will use a open browser activity and the reason behind that is when i open a particular site if there's a error how do i capture that error okay let's say i want to navigate to a fake site www dot uh, let's say some name i will type okay and i'm sure there will be no such sites so when i do this and i run this it is going to open that so the by default browser when you open browser activities internet explorer you can change it also so now you can see the internet explorer has got an error right the page cannot be displayed and i want to capture that specific error okay what is that error so in case you wanted to open that in google chrome because most of us may be acquainted with google chrome then go ahead with google chrome or depending on the browser type It doesn't is not something very critical but again you can choose your browser type here okay once that is done the next thing is take screenshot simple and now here i am not going to indicate the element for the moment and i will tell that reason take screenshot here on the right hand side you have output i am going to create a output variable so control plus k and let me give a name uh, image image test or test image okay so the variable is created i want to save that so for that there is another activity save image so let's drag and drop that here in the save image you need to specify the variable that you have created now one more thing to notice when you created the variable if you go to variable panel so test image will have the ui path code dot image right this is the data type so you can easily find that out in case anywhere you want to create it so just type ui path core you will find the image variable over there okay so once you have defined the image here here you need to define the path where it should get saved so if you do, do not define any path it's it's going to store it within the project folder you know with the with the name you are going to specify otherwise i want it to be stored in a specific location so you can copy the location you want and paste it within double quotes okay and here you specify the name so let's say here i am going to say test image one dot and specify the extension file type dot png so if you see it here we are covering the first example take a screenshot and save it with a specific name okay so let me save it and run it so what would happen it is going to open the google chrome browser take the screenshot and save it so if you see it here it has taken the entire page so notice this it is taking the entire page screenshot and many of the de details are not necessary right it's taking the entire page so how do i take a specific region is going to something i am going to cover okay so this is done now when you run it again it's going to override this file okay so i want a dynamic name which is our second scenario 
save it with a dynamic name so to do that what i'm going to do it here i'm going to tweak this area a bit so this would be my path so here i'll put a double quote and end it give it a plus sign and here just type now dot so this will take the date and time now dot to string because date and time will all the time it is going to change right so i will use the format mm dd yy y h h m m s s second all right the second at least will change so we'll have a different name all the time okay uh, so here I'm, I'm going to give a plus sign again and remember to put this one within double quotes okay and then otherwise there will be error and then here the format so dot png is the format so with that i'm done so let me run it now okay so it has captured the screenshot let me go back and see the screenshot how it has captured the entire screenshot all right guys so now the main thing is how do i capture the specific area let's say this only this line i want to capture how do you do that okay so for that one go back to ui paths and here there is a there is, let's say i'm going to indicate element inside the browser let me use this feature so when you see this when i'm selecting either it's selecting the entire chrome or it's selecting um, the entire entire area but not it's not giving me an option to select only this line isn't it so how to do that all right so the answer is hit on the f3 key okay function 3 on your keyboard function 3 or f3 key and this will give you an opportunity to select the specific area okay so i have selected so now let me run it all right so there you go let's see the specific all right so there you go guys this is how i have captured the specific area of the error thank you very much if you have liked this video please hit on the like button and subscribe to the channel and do comment if you have any questions thank you very much guys have a wonderful day